they'll be calling you a radical. First and foremost, before I get into this whole nightmare that's unfolding with the nuclear energy crime syndicate, the greatest crime syndicate in human history, on Westinghouse's scam. I mean, you think about the nuclear industry just took down one of the 134-year-old, maybe the biggest company on Earth. Now, think about it. Now, everybody says, oh, we can't follow along, whatever. Look, I'm not here to fucking feed the ignorant and the masses and these people that just say, oh, we woke up six years, we didn't know anything about, please. What a fucking lie. What a lie. Fuck, I have no pity for anybody fucking on. After all this time, six fucking years, so run along, Johnny. You know, if you want to fucking be a part of this fucking movement to fucking expose the greatest truth in human history, then do it. Otherwise, I'm not here to spoon feed. Look, you need to go back. See dick. Fuck Jane. See, J see spot jump in ocean. See spot. I mean, please. So, Westinghouse is taking about the nuclear energy crime syndicate and they're looting and their Manhattan Project turned on their billions and trillions. Same old thing, 1960 war profiteering, fucking robbing welfare queens from hell, have destroyed one of the historic great fucking companies in human history, Toshiba. Their own words. CEO's going to resign. Can you imagine? So this was shoved rammed down their throat. Now think about it, you pay $239 million in the Chicago Bridge fucking write down. $239 million in, excuse me, in the fucking goodwill. Don't you love the fucking, their creative accounting? Liars don't figure. Figures, uh, figures don't lie, liars figure. These fucking liars. And uh, don't you love just the word write down? Now remember when GM did the same thing? Is GM still around? Yeah, they just fucked all the shareholders. They fucked all the employees. Government bailed them out. You forget about the bank bail. You forget about when they bailed out GM. Now remember, GM, he became the fucking Obama czar, General Electric, Jeffrey Amalthine, and all of them when they flew to fucking Brazil and orchestrated. So Trump would be playing golf. High five! They go down, I mean, bizarro. Two days. He doesn't meet with the German Chancellor. He doesn't meet with you know, the China royal family. He doesn't be meet with, the, you know, his cousin Putin. They're the royal family, you know. A spy who loved me. So, he doesn't meet with any of these so-called trade partners. Japan, our biggest trade, not even close. Japan, the 51st trade? Oh, yeah, Yalta by the sea. What's that? So, they meet. They said they blocked out the windows, kicked the media out, went down into the basement of the... Winter Palace, Winter Palace, and I think that's what he calls it. That's what, not my words, Trump's, his wife's spy who loved me. Oh, you must come to me by fucking your cousin, Peter, the fucking great grandson, Putin, at fucking Catherine, Catherine, fucking at St. Petersburg. So here's how it went when they met, when they fucking met, when Trump and he had the handshake. Please me, allow me to introduce myself. I'm a man of wealth and taste. I've been around for a long, long time. You know, when the czars. Oh, boy. He's fucking pure, beyond evil. The greatest fucking puppet evil scumbag who ever lived is Jim Pete. And Obama's right behind him. So they orchestrate the merger. How can you fucking have a fucking goodwill fucking accounting fucking for 220 Nine million, then write down six. They're gonna write down six point three billion. That's the Bloomberg's latest number. So th look, this is gonna. I'm telling you, because you know I worked in the hedge fund industry back in the day. I walked away fucking in '99, 2000. I walked away in 2000. Couldn't fucking take the corruption anymore. Couldn't take the lies and the people. I mean, the type of people that I was involved with. It, it, physically creep me the fuck out. The type of females, the type of, I mean, it, it just, it literally made my skin crawl. I'm like, fuck money, I'm out of here. And I was good at what I did, really. Still am. But, so, 
the write down. So what does that mean? The stock was four hundred fifty eight dollars a share early, and I told everybody yeah, it's called sixty five oh two. Why is it called sixty five two? The Banking Act of nineteen thirty four prohibits fucking Americans from fucking buying stocks foreignly, fucking in theory. So what it means is so because market crash, one company just the wealth moves from cash to cash, you know, which is going to collapse economies. Now you think about it, in theory, that's a, probably a really good law, you know, to protect economies. But we turn to the globalists, so. They invented the ETF, fuck, you know, QE1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the negative interest rate, the fairy tale fucking looting scam, fucking. So they're down there in the basement cutting this fucking deal, you know. Fukushima, that's all they're discussing is Fukushima. That's what the, look, Westinghouse knew they were done. So they're so called generational three fucking new reactors. It's always something new with these fucking mad Mox fuel, Savannah River, fucking Revit, fucking. New scale fucking little module. It's always some fucking scam because they get the money. They make all the money up front. It's like developers all over the country right now because we have a negative interest rate. They don't care if they sell anything. They don't give a fuck because they make their money on the fucking building. Growth for the sake of growth is the ideology of cancer cells, Edward Abbey. So what they do, so they make their money because the negative interest rate, there's flowing money to these fucking creeps. And so then they form an LLC, whatever, and they pay themselves ungodly sons of money. They built what, so they make all the money on the front end. They don't give a fuck if they ever fucking sell one of them, fucking fill them, they don't give a fuck. doesn't matter. That's the fucking byproduct of it. And Rand Greenspan, you know, on your corporate welfare dairy farm. So that's my favorite one. Farmers making milk on government, I mean, poison, which milk is poison. I mean, you feed your kids milk, fuck, you're nuts. Fucking, I talk, like, oh, organic, oh my God, you giving your children organic, do you have any idea what these cows fucking synergize inside there, do you have any idea what they're feeding them, oh, organic, yeah, uh-huh, tell that fucking Fukushima, 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 number one thing it affects is the fucking mama's fucking, <laughs> it synergizes inside their body, class, so, they are going to do a, this stuff's going to get so fucking crushed, so, you can't trade per se in the U.S. You can trade it on the ETF. I would have fucking, you know, I mean, God, I think about it. 27,000 shares of Tesla. I had to sell in the 30s to get into the bone marrow transplant. I told you guys all over, I'd have these fucking nuclear stocks so fucking shorted. Fucking puts on those things out. They fucking yin-yang. Like I said, before the bailout, member GM? So, what has Trump and Abib cut for Toshiba? What kind of deal? Oh, you're going to see fucking creative counting on Balco. You're going to see the GM scam going to a new... Because, look, it's so easy. Like somebody out yesterday, and I'm like, oh, fuck, please. These fuckers could put out any narrative Fox News, run out right out of the house of Windsor, fucking Orwellian fucking, you know, sh hurting, you know, social engineering hurting. I says, fuck, these fucking herds are so... They're fucking easier to herd than cattle. And I says, wait a minute, what an insult to cattle. Becomes as natural as unleashing fucking cattle onto the Utah landscape. People think cattle ranching is some kind of natural rhino because we watched Bonanza and Gunsmoke and Dirty Harry. We got our gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking, I mean, you're social engineering a babbling blur. Get in your fucking... I don't know when Rush Hour was at nine. Then it was at eight. Then it was seven. Then it was six. Now it's five. Fuck, four o'clock. People are fucking going... <laughs> What, to drive and shut? It's not what I think I am. It's what my neighbors think I am. So this is a fucking big deal. This is a really fucking big deal. Remember, this is all by the year 20 fucking 13. Fucking China will put on a reactor a month. Then put one on. They're not putting any on. And by the way, Toshiba's done. They're like, fuck you. Now, I'll never forget this. I did videos in Prague. Right where Hillary. Now, remember Hillary? She's Secretary of State. Now, think about this. Using the word Westinghouse, 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 Westinghouse. Or I thought they were a private company. I mean this. Now what happens when corporations and government and fucking military merge in? That's called fascism. Fucking. Worthy. I mean. Practice your Vienna high step. And everybody's drank the Kool-Aid. They're fucking. I mean. Fuck Jim Jones couldn't have pulled this one. I mean, everybody's drank the fucking Kool-Aid. Not me. I'm this fucking guy. I really could give a fuck. You know. And. There's been, you know, the thing that I think is fucking really crazy. I fucking video short gold at 1900 right there to the day that it hit. I have, there's videos all over short gold at 47, which I did. Videos all over to buy Tesla in the fucking low 20s. All over. Fucking videos fucking, 
I mean, there's stuff all over the internet when I'm telling people to buy fucking Apple at fucking eighty six dollars. It's over nine hundred. You know, and so but forget all that because all your money can't another minute buy Dustin the Wind. I you know, I got in the bone marrow transplant. I was uninsured. You know, it wouldn't matter if I was insured anyway. Fuck those kind of sums of money, fucking copays, fucking destroy you. You get leukemia. It's like somebody says, Oh, I can't believe you took it. fuck I was my vitals were so low when I went into the bone marrow transplant unit. I was down to a hundred and fucking thirty pounds, one percent of the I mean the people don't realize these so called leukemia cells, these free radicals, are so aggressive, so hard. You know, AML kills well, they say sixty thousand people a year, but we know it's probably five, six, seven times that. A lot of people die from AML leukemia and they don't even know it. Because it attacks the body so fast the cells and wipes them out. So it get listed as the flu, fucking uh, lung, you know, all kinds of different things because it murders you that fast. It can rip off up to 35% of your body weight in as little as three days. That's how aggressive it is. So people think, I, I mean, I think on it, they've smashed my view. My first video I did on Fukushima the first day got pushed everywhere. Had 141,000 views within like six hours. And that's in the day. That's back, you know, 2011 before YouTube blew up and become this nightmare. Well, not nightmare. It's the most powerful genre on earth, but abused by the fucking people that are bored to spin videos all fucking day and fucking night because they got nothing else to do. The analysis of the analysis. I'm surely not that. No, I use it as the activist. You know, so <laughs> I think about it. You know, I thought, well, God, I'll, the publicist will come along. Somebody will come along strong and say, fuck, water compeller. I mean, when I'm in the bone marrow transplant center, I had a stack of media requests that fucking deep. I remember four years ago today, it sent an offer when Joni Ray and I went in there and exposed the lies of the fake union workers in that packed house on there. And I'm the only one that says they're done, sent an offer on there. I'm the guy, I'm the guy that got that house packed. Kicked out before I could even fucking speak. I was interviewed by PBS twice, that day and the next day. And then, you know, fall there. Then all of a sudden they backed out. I always thought, what the fuck? My daughter says, well, that's because they were sure you were going to die in the bone marrow, and you didn't die. I look back, I don't think that was the case. That view, that first video had 141,000 views within hours. Then the next day I look at it, it's got 11,000 views. Now, Google claims that they pulled the view count because they were abstract views, there were Facebook views, or posted onto websites, or posted onto pages, but huh, that doesn't make any sense. You know, I don't understand. Well, I do understand. <laughs> Kev, you think the nuclear industry hates you so bad that they mailed leukemia to you in the mail? I says, they didn't have to. Fukushima did that. Fukushima gave me leukemia. You know, I get a lot of people right here, but I'm the only one that, right, just like this, I'm the only one that recognizes it. I recognize things as they happen. I always have. Is it a gift? I don't know. Maybe a curse. But you think about this. $229 million in goodwill turns into $6.6 .6 billion in a write-down. The CEO of Toshiba says we're out of options. They went to the World Bank last month. The I mean, they've, they've got hat in hand. They're begging because, you know, that's the playbook. Nuclear industry always gets bailed out. Always. Ask Arriva. Arriva's been bailed out the French government so many fucking times. Look, the biggest welfare whore queens, the most failed technology in fucking history is the nuclear energy industry. You know, TVA, fucking all of it. It's a scam. They turned on the Manhattan Project during the war. They never turned it off, ever. I mean, it is just, these guys loot so much money. It's a failed technology that we don't use. It takes more electrical energy to keep a reactor open than they produce. You heard me right. Uh, for real. Because the cement fuel is stacked up and then they have to keep it cool. It's like, oh, it's clean. Now how come all, the, all of a sudden all the diesel fuel in the fucking Hudson River again? You know, for the umpteenth time. What's diesel fuel doing in a nuclear reactor? Huh, backup generator running blue fucking... I mean, they have to keep these things cool. You ever heard of a uranium mine? Uranium tailings? What about nuclear waste? You heard about whip blowing up? What's whip, you know, Yucca Mountain on Balco, fucking, it's a big deal, Trump and Abib, that's what it was all about, come on, it's Trump, 
They don't give a fuck about the ocean. They don't give a fuck about you getting cancer. They're so, they give a fuck about money. I, and I wonder if Carl Icahn was in there. Well, we know that Bob Kraft was there. Think about that, Bob Kraft. I mean, cheated all costs. I mean, you think about the fucking cheating that they've done. I mean, they stole the playbook again. You know, know the, you do know this story. They did it again. They stole the fucking playbook. Fucking Shanahan's kid. For real. They knew every fucking play they were running. The, the rumor is that they had intercepted the fucking, you know, because they talked in the quarterback's ear, and they knew every single play in the second half that they were running before they ran it. And which, there's nothing new. They've done it before. They did it in 2000. They've done it before over and over and over. So that's my cut. So I want a Carl Icahn was there. So now these fuckers, I mean, look, these billionaire hedge funds or these whatever, you know, it isn't about money to them. It's about ego at this point, a lot of them. I mean, they've inflated with this in zero percent. They inflated the market out. I mean, the market went for, I mean, sell your Dow on. Dow's going to do your gold bar. Dow's at a push in 21,000. Fuck it, was 6,500 eight years ago. Think about that. Look at real estate values, what they do. That's what a negative 0% interest rate does. It impoverishes the masses. It creates a bubble. for the, Look, the inversion, the matrix on average hourly market earnings and rent has never been this far out of whack. It started to go like this in 2000. It's gone like this the last few years. And it's like the unemployment rate. We call it the, forget that. That's what you have to actually be clean. Look at the participation rate. That means the people that actually can work will be working. Ha! It's the lowest in history. The lowest in the history of the, lower than the Depression. The cash call, they're going to cash flock. The cash economy's never been bigger because you've got contracts. Like, look, it's like the wall. You don't need to know wall. All you've got to do is police fucking go arrest the fucking exploiters. Real simple. IRS can do it. Click. You're a contractor. You're a dairy farmer. You're a fucking... You know, landscape guy, you're a fucking ho Donald Trump hotel fucking owner. You're a fucking a casino magnet. They're all exploiting labor illegally. It breaks local law, federal law, fucking IRS law, breaking 50 laws. It, it guts the infrastructure of the country. So the municipalities are completely running on fucking property values. So inflate the property value up because property tax, you know? So these municipalities are flush with money because of the fucking fairy tale fucking... Real estate bubble on Balco. It's going to come apart, the real estate bubble. You know, it's going to be ugly when it fucking does because they've kicked this can for 15 fucking I remember I was on Wall Street when Greenspan first did it. And I used to, we used to physically do, because we know how the PPI and CPI works. They actually physically used to go do it in small groups. We could do it. We would do it before they did it. So we knew what the PPI and CPI, we knew what the Fed was going to do before they did it. It was real easy. And then we could fucking trade and react the market. And for all, I was deadly at it all through the 80s and I, I never missed it, ever. I got it wrong the one quarter. I think it was the fucking fall of 99. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm looking back, I didn't have it wrong. The Fed had it wrong. And Rand Ryan Greenspan, the greatest fucking terrorist who ever walked. Second greatest. The greatest terrorist who ever walked now is Barack Obama. And it'd be, please me, allow me to introduce myself. I'm a man of wealth and taste. Give me, because I'm the Fukushima backup singer. Give me shelter! There is no shelter. There is nowhere to run. There is nowhere to fucking hide. I've been around for a long, long time. I was around when Jesus Christ had his day. When the fucking czars at St. Petersburg. I'm a man of wealth and taste. That's a beeb and trump. Oh, he knows. Trump fucking knows. But if he could give a fuck about Pacific Ocean, he could give a fuck about it. You think Donald Trump's ever been camping? You think Donald Trump's ever fucking been fishing? You think Donald Trump's ever paddled a fucking canoe across the fucking, you know, up the... Yeah, I mean, you think, oh, it's, he lives in New York. Fuck. I can show ecologies right at in New York City. Right outside of New York City. It's so fucking incredibly beautiful. You know, the Hudson's fucking grand. Do not kid yourself. You know, right there, it's magnificent. Ask the Roosevelt's. You know, so it's on. They've done it again. The nuclear industry, and you're going to see the most creative, crazy accounting fucking Oki Fanoki fucking on Balco fuck you ever seen. And that's what they did. That's inside there. You know, they know all about Fukushima. They know all about the collapse. Fucking the Westinghouse, which was shoved down the throat. Hillary Clinton, Prague. You will give the nuclear. You will build nuclear reactors in the Czech Republic, and you will 
give the contracts to Westinghouse. So your Toshiba board of directors, these major Toshiba shareholders, here's Westinghouse that just fucked you fucking out of 134 year fucking infamy. Japan, post-war, let's experiment with a couple nuclear bombs on it. I got news in Japan. These madmen are still experimenting on you. Remember in 1986 when they tried the negative interest rate, your Nikkei was 35,000? Do you realize that Japan has a major declining population? Major, I mean, they're so mass murdered by the United States fucking nuclear crime family. When you think about fucking experiment with the two uh, atomic, that's all it was, flexing their dick at fucking Russia. Huh. What a same old theme as 1916. I'm not gonna spoon feed you. I'm really not gonna fucking do it, you know? Everybody had their chance to fucking kill with me. Somebody should have seriously partnered with me a long time ago. But I'm at the point now that I'm so disgusted. You know, I dedicated my whole life right down to getting cancer. You were able to watch my cancer. I don't survive. I, I love it. People still now coming to me and telling me what a fool I was for taking chemo. What a fool I was for fucking doing this. OS de Nuvo, AMO, the survival rate is 0.06%. A survival rate with a bone without a bone marrow transplant is pretty well impossible. I am the first guy they know of in the fucking world that has survived this disease without a bone marrow transplant. Willingly. Brian Morris did it, but he did it unwillingly. First one on earth, and you're still telling me. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a fool to do your dirty work, but I gotta record history. I made some promises in that bone marrow transplant. You know, what, to God, you know, to myself. I mean, that's the problem. People have no self-respect. They have no respect for their neighbors, no respect for their community, no respect for anybody. You know, they're me, 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 me. So John Steinbeck, we simply went from the we to the I. Kevin Blanche, we simply went from the we to the I to the capital we, 1945-1970, to the capital I, 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 I. And I'm a fool to fucking do your dirty work. Cause I give myself away on a bed of nails. You make me fucking wait. Same old theme as 1916 on chemo. It's a big fucking deal. The nuclear fucking energy crime syndicate will fucking completely destroy this entire world and bankrupt every fucking until they're done. And they're and you still think it's clean and green and it's too cheap to meter. Fuck what a few fucking fainting girls will be herded into fucking off a cliff fucking so easily.